Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Mindset Matters. And as you know, Coach Nate in the house right here. Today, I want to talk to you about the number one, number one biggest mistake that coaches make. clients that will come into your life, right? Prospects that will come into your life and, and you take them through this process and, and you might get them on a call. You might have them fill out an application and then get on a call. And then you're going to, you're going to do an inquiry and you're going to find out what's going on in the world and you're going to ask a lot of questions and they're going to give you some answers and you might be the greatest salesman in the world. You might be the greatest coach in the world asking the most amazing questions. And here's what's going to happen. They're going to give you half the story. Some might open it up and, and go three quarters of the way, but they don't know you. You're a complete stranger, especially if they're coming from a lead to an application to a phone call. Someone that's never heard of you before and they come into your world and you start to ask these questions to find out if they're a fit and if you're a fit for them. And the number one biggest mistake that coaches make is that they don't really get down to the root of what is really going on. When we have, when we go through this process, very systematized process, we have our marketing, watch a video, we fill out an application, the message is speaking to them, we get on a phone call with our sales guy, he's asking these questions, he's trying to find out if there's a fit, he's trying to close them, collect the money, they show up to our four-day experience, incredible process that they've gone through. We've been digging and digging and digging. We do some pre-work before they get there. And guess what? They still haven't opened up to what it is that they really want and why they're really here. And the biggest mistake for coaches is to accept them for what they tell us on the surface level. We just accept what they tell us the first two or three times of what they want and what they need to get. And then guess what happens? Because that's not truly why they're here or what they need to get. They don't get the results that they want and they're going to turn around and blame us. They're going to blame you for the lack of results because they made the investment of time, energy, and money for you to get them the results that they want and you're not able to do that because you don't know exactly what it is that they really want. Clarity is power. What do you want? Why does it matter? We ask all of our clients. When they come into immersion, four-day deep dive transformational elite experience for married men and women, business owners, entrepreneurs with children. They come to California, we break them down physically. We tear down the barriers. We ask them the piercing question and we continue to ask them, what do you want? Why are you here? What do you want? Why are you here? And we don't settle until we know. Like you'll know when someone tells you what they want and why it matters, you know if they're bullshitting or if they're being real. Especially if you are a good coach. If you're great at what you're doing, if you're great at communicating and asking questions, willing to stand in the fire, look your clients in the eyes, and, and show them that you're not willing to accept anything but 100% truth. And when you can do that, and you can really get down to the root of what it is that they need, then you can go and help them, show them the path, break down what's getting in the way, show them the possibilities, and help them to get there and get them the results. But the number one mistake that coaches make is they don't do that. They don't get deep down to the root. They don't find out exactly what's going on and therefore their clients do not get the results. Before you know it, you're like, ah, oh, this coaching thing just ain't working out and, and, and you settle and you go do something else. Get to the root of what is going on. Be willing to take a stand for your clients when they're not willing to take a stand for themselves. Get to, be willing to get them to a point where they can open up and you can really find out what's going on for them so that you can help them get the results that they truly desire and need and everyone wins. Please subscribe to the Mindset Matters YouTube channel. You can go ahead, smash that subscribe button and go ahead and also uh, get my latest copy of my new book, 100 Mile Mindset. You can get that at 100milemindset.com. I appreciate you. Have a great day.